Bucketing tasks into sprints helps high output engineering teams move projects forward. But if these tasks aren't organized, it's possible some might slip. In a few minutes, we'll show you how you can use Notion to keep an inventory of tasks and everything related to them, from their progression to their priority level and timeline. Then, we'll demonstrate how your team can use our dynamic database views to efficiently plan their sprints. Let's find the engineering page in the sidebar of Acme Inc.'s workspace and click on Roadmap. This database contains all the tasks your team has to complete. As you can see, every task is grouped according to its status. Every entry is its own page, where you can add content varying from regular text to embeds from whimsical, code snippets, and videos. At the top are properties, which are pieces of information about each database page. These properties can take many forms, and they can all be customized. In this example, engineers decided to specify the status, priority level, product manager, and engineers involved in every task, as well as the timeline. Click out of the page to go back to the database. Now let's add another view to the database. Simply click on Add a View, and you'll see this dropdown appear. A great thing about Notion databases is that you can choose how you want your information displayed either as a table, board, timeline, calendar, list, and gallery. This time, I'll select table. I'll give my new view a name and hit create. Here are all our tasks displayed in a table. To make your table easier to digest at first glance, you may want to hide some of its properties. To do this, click on properties at the top right and toggle off the properties you do not wish to see. This does not delete the properties. It simply hides them from view in your table. Now let's talk about sprints. They're a collection of tasks that need to be completed within a certain time frame. A common type frame for one sprint is two weeks. Time to assign each task a sprint. Click on the plus sign at the top of the empty column to the right, name it Sprint, and pick a single select property. A new column is created. And now all you have to do is add the sprints that correlate with every task. Type the sprint number, then enter to create a tag. Once it's created, just select from the dropdown to use it in another entry. We now have a neat table displaying all tasks, as well as their corresponding sprints. Let's sort your tasks in a chronological order. Click on Sort, then add a sort, pick Timeline, and Descending. Now, what if we wanted to view all the tasks assigned to each sprint? we'd have to add a board view to our database. And specify that you want your tasks grouped by sprint. This display is beneficial because you get to view all of your team's tasks as well as who they're assigned to for each sprint. Plus, if a task is lagging, you can always drag it out of its column and drop it into the next one. Once the tasks from the sprints are done, you can mark them as complete by clicking into the task and picking the complete tag next to status. Finally, let's add a timeline view to this database and call it Sprint 5. All your entries are now plotted in a timeline. As always, you can access your tasks page by clicking on its name. In order to only display tasks from Sprint 5, go to Filter, Add a Filter, Add a Filter again, and select the dropdown so that it says Sprint is Sprint 5. Just like we did previously, Let's display our tasks in chronological order. Click on Sort, then Add a Sort, pick Timeline, and Ascending. Now, I'll change the timeline scale to by week to fit the duration of the sprint. This database view can be very useful to easily rearrange priorities or simply change the end date of a task. And engineers who select this view know exactly what they need to do to complete the tasks in the sprint. For more information on timeline views, you can consult this video. We've now covered how your engineering team can add multiple database views to their roadmap and use them to plan sprints. And as your team's needs change, Notion grows with you. You can always keep customizing your workflow as your team grows, whether you're starting Sprint 1 or Sprint 100.